Welcome to the ITU studio in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt, where we're here for the Radio Communication Assembly and also the World Radio Communication Conference 2019. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Karim Abdel Ghani, who is the program coordinator for the regional office uh, for ITU in Egypt. Welcome to the studio, Karim. Thank you very much. Happy to be with you. Now, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, what's been going on here in, in, the, in the region itself. Uh, I know that uh, you've got a few interesting programs that have been happening. Perhaps you could uh, tell us a little bit about them. Thank you very much. So, uh, the Arab Region office, as you know, is a small office in size. Uh, we have uh, some very uh, motivated staff, uh, around 10 people uh, in the office. Uh, but we cover a wide array of areas. So we cover areas that are related to cybersecurity, digital financial inclusion, uh, uh, ICT applications, uh, and numerous uh, areas that are assisting countries around the region to create enabling environments around those areas. So uh, as you can imagine, the Arab region consists of around 22 Arab countries. Uh, six of them are around our least developing countries, uh, plus, plus Palestine. We have around con four countries that are countries in transition. Uh, so there are a lot of developmental issues that we have to tackle uh, using uh, ICTs. So we're happy to be here in the region and work with our partners in the region to, uh, to meet all, those, all their needs. What, what are some of those programs covering? So for example, we are working with uh, the World Bank and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation on uh, uh, financial inclusion. Uh, so specifically the, global, uh, the financial inclusion global initiative. Uh, uh, in the Arab region, we're assisting Egypt to create an enabling environment uh, in that area. Uh, on the issue of uh, financial, uh, sorry, the issue of digital inclusion, we're working with UNESCO to uh, work with uh, all partners in the region to, uh, to organize something called Digital Inclusion Week, where we call upon st uh, stakeholders across the region uh, to organize activities and uh, raise awareness about issues relevant to digital inclusion in their country. So we were able to organize around 16 events with 16 partners uh, in the uh, in Digital Inclusion Week that spanned the last week of September. Uh, on the issue of e-health, for example, uh, we're working with the WHO on uh, uh, projects related to non-communicable diseases. So uh, we have a project on mobile health. Uh, there's a global initiative called Be Healthy, Be Mobile. And in the Arab region, we were able to uh, launch three projects in that area, in uh, Egypt, uh, Sudan, and Tunisia. Uh, and we have numerous other activities, so we're happy to explain more about that uh, if the time permits. So in, in, in principle here, the, um, the WRC is going to be attracting something, I'm coming back to this conference here, it's going to be attracting something like 3,000 people uh, from all around the world, from uh, over 150 countries, I understand. Uh, how important is it to the region to be hosting a conference such as this? Well, actually, the fact that the WRC is hosted in Egypt is a big testament about not just the, the status of the IC sector in, uh, the, in Egypt, but also the Arab region. You may recall that last year as well, the Plenty Potential Conference was hosted in Dubai. So two big ITU conferences hosted in the Arab region is a huge testament to how far along the ICT sector came in this region. So uh, this specific WRC comes into critical importance uh, for the Arab region specifically and the world. Uh, as the world embarks, starts to embark on uh, deploying 5G technologies in the near, fu near future. So one of the main issues that we tackled this year is uh, our issues related to 5G spectrum, uh, which will hopefully pave the way for deploying it across the region in the near future. And, uh, and finally, just in, in, in general, is the, is the region then optimistic very much about, uh, about the outcomes of this conference and, and about uh, digital connectivity in general? Very much so, I would say that. Uh, you can sense that by, first of all, the level of participation of the Arab delegations uh, in this conference uh, and the fact that they're engaged in all the discussions uh, with the rest of the world. Uh, so I would say that uh, uh, I think they have high hopes for the conference and I have hopes that the, uh, of the impact of the conference on the region. Well, Karim, thank you very much for joining us in the studio, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the near future about all these wonderful projects that you've been telling us about. Thank you very much. Thank you.